Bertrand Colomb, thank you for being with us on WPC TV. What do you think are the prospects for Europe in the next five years, in particular the Eurozone? Are we going to enter into the sort of malaise, prolonged malaise that Japan has suffered? Well, I guess in Europe the situation is never as good as it looks or never as bad as it looks. So uh, I think Europe may have still some capability to rebound uh, because I, I believe the, the diagnostic on, on what, what Europe needs to do is relatively clear. Uh, the difficulty is to do it. Uh, and I believe that compared to Japan, uh, Europe has more capability to move and change than Japan, Japan has had in the past. Now, Mr. Abe is trying to move Japan, but it's, I believe, more difficult to move Japan and even to move France, which is, you know, not easy. I was going to ask you about France. Uh, I mean, you, one could say that France at the moment is the sick man of Europe or the Eurozone. And it's very important that it should somehow recover its vitality. Yeah, the only, the only comfort we have is that uh, 10 years ago, uh, Germany was a sick man of uh, Europe. And in 10 years, uh, you know, the situation has reversed. And the situation has reversed because Germany did the right things, but also because France did the wrong things. And it's very clear. Uh, and the, the, the curves of the... Uh, uh, unemployment especially, the curse of the uh, lack of competitiveness, which means the uh, increase of uh, uh, unit cost, uh, unit labor cost, compared between uh, France and Germany are extremely clear. Over 10 years, there's been a between 15 and 25 percent gap, which has been created. Uh, not surprising that it leads to results that we have now. Not surprising that it won't reverse itself in six months or a year or even, even five years uh, term of a president. Um, what has been created in 10 years will probably take, let's say, five, seven, maybe 10 years uh, to be corrected. Uh, again, uh, regarding France, I think the, the, diagnostic, uh, the diagnosis is, is probably about shared by everybody. Uh, the difficulty is to do something about it and uh, to make it acceptable to French people. You mean the diagnostic is the, the, the need is to find a French version of Schroeder? <laughs> no, it, it, is, it is sure that we should uh, restore our competitiveness by reducing our costs and by f making more flexible our economy and especially our labour market. Even uh, Mr. Macron, the uh, current uh, Minister of Finance, is uh, suggesting things about uh, you know working more on Sunday and that type of thing. Uh, now the issue is not what to do; is is it possible to do it? And uh, a lot of people, right or left, have said over time that our French society is fragile; that uh, it shouldn't, we shouldn't push it too much because then it will break. Uh, in companies, we don't have a feeling that French people are so fragile. And when uh, people understand the situation where they are given the right information, when they trust the people who give them the information, uh, they are able to mobilize themselves and, and fight. The problem is to get France back into a fighting attitude. Uh, there is uh, currently an especial sort of desperate attitude. And it is very bad because not only it's very bad for French, but it's very bad for outside, because whenever you go in the US or maybe in Korea, I don't know, but uh, people have a terrible impression about what's going on in France. And the French are probably one of the reasons for that, because uh, whenever they, they go outside, they complain, they, they have a negative mood. Uh, the, the France is currently the country where the mood is the worst. But what's interesting is that when you ask people their mood or their impression about the country as a whole is very bad. Their impression about themselves or their company or what they can do is much better. Well, on that positive note, amongst a lot of negativity, the positive note, thank you very much indeed, Veteran Colomb. Thank you.